I've been in a bit of a funk lately around both Minecraft and YouTube. And while I had some great people around me who pulled me up out of it, it did get me thinking even more than usual about the ethics of how we create and consume on this platform. I think that when I started posting on YouTube, I assumed that as long as I was doing my best to improve myself and create good work, I'd find my way into the halls of YouTube success. Maybe not fame, but at least reasonable monetization, you know? And let's be real, that's not really how YouTube works. The YouTube game really is a combination of luck and ever-increasing sensationalization. And I knew going in that that was not a game I wanted to play. I'm not going to overhype myself or blow my personality out of proportion or pretend I don't have one to serve an algorithm. I'm not going to follow trends to the ends of the earth in order to get clicks. That's not the kind of person I have ever been or ever want to be. I don't want to present some fake version of myself to get money. I don't want to use others' work or ideas to succeed. And I definitely don't want to feel like I'm selling my soul to the algorithm. Like many other creators, stuck in small YouTube hell, as we so fondly call it, I just want to create and share what I want to do and what I'm excited about, and anyone who's interested enough can come along. I'm sure there are plenty more small creators than just myself who have done extensive research about how the YouTube game works and then had to make conscious decisions about not following certain pieces of advice while knowing that in the end that would probably bite us in the backside and we'd have to work even harder at the elements that we do want to use or improve. Unfortunately though, the commitment to stay true to ourselves and what we value can have a price. It can be really frustrating to watch as other YouTubers hijack a brand that they're not actually part of and get views for it, or unabashedly hate on Minecraft or other things and get views for it, or be rude and unkind or straight up harmful to other creators and people and get views for it, or just otherwise get rewarded for participating in practices that are questionable at best and straight up unethical at worst. And I think that's something that all of us on this platform need to be a little more aware of. Are we okay with what and how we consume on YouTube? Are we watching or creating things in a way that aligns with our values? Or are we engaging with content simply because it's entertaining without thinking about how what is said or done affects us and our perception of the world? That isn't to say that everything that is popular is bad or that using trends is bad, but that we might allow too many things to become popular in spite of, or maybe even because of, the poor ethics practiced in the creation of that content, especially here on gaming YouTube. I think that now, especially with the drama surrounding Mr. Beast, who is consistently hailed as one of the best people to imitate while making videos, Maybe more of us are thinking about these topics, hopefully even working on being a little bit more conscious about how we interact with YouTube. I've started to feel like I'm at the point where I can consider my content to be quality content. Sure, there's still plenty more to improve, but I'm in a decent place. And my retention is up, my watch time is up, and my views are dropping. So I looked at the YouTube landscape around me, and I guess my brain decided it was my fault because I'm not that good at playing Minecraft, because my builds are still really crappy instead of works of pure art, or because I'm not building and showcasing giant redstone monstrosities. Sure, I'm far from the best builder or the best redstoner, but I do need to remind that negative voice in my head that I have come a long way. But here's the thing. I wallowed in that for a bit. And then the people around me pulled me right up out of it, and I remembered why I, and a lot of others, started doing this. I didn't join this platform and start publishing videos in an oversaturated genre for views and clicks and money. At the end of the day, I started this channel to find community, to keep me sane despite the illnesses that keep me from doing much in the real world, and to build the practical skills that I should have gotten from my degree. And I think I've consistently progressed in those goals but I have to remember to look back in order to see it. I started this channel not long after getting out of a five month long span of bed rest. I had stumbled into Minecraft YouTube towards the end of that and it had been a lifeline for me. So once I was able to sit up, I started recording videos in my bed. I had just wrapped up four years of having my confidence shattered in a performing arts program, and honestly, I don't know what possessed me at that point to think that anyone would find me entertaining or even fun to interact with. But I started playing Minecraft and sharing it with the world. Kind of. I don't think I could stand to go back and watch those old videos, but I keep them up so that they are there as a testament to how far I've come. Because at the end of the day, I have come so far. 
I'm so much less anxious, so much less awkward in talking to an empty screen. And don't even get me started on the production of my videos. Now I feel like I finally settled into my own style that I actually like. And maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it has been for some of you. In the last several months, I've felt a solid, albeit rather tiny audience, settle in here, and I've felt warmth, kindness, and support from each and every one of you. Not to mention the small group of creators I've connected with, or the community of the Minecraft server I play on. Thank you so much to all of you who have come alongside me and built a little Minecrafting community together. You guys mean the world to me. I think for myself, that's the point of this video. Just to remember this point, and how I felt at this point, and to remember to look both backwards and forwards as I continue on. And here's the thing, folks. Community is one of the most core aspects of our survival as a species. If we don't have community, we don't have anything. So keep fighting for your people, and as long as you do that, no matter how everything else falls into place, it'll all be okay.